I've just taken delivery of my uh, new easel and this is the Loxley Kent um, I bought this one because A I needed an easel strangely enough but B because the art group I belong to used Loxley equipment and I found it to be quite robust um, there are a lot cheaper easels on the market and there's a lot more expensive ones just to be a reasonable value for money that cost me about 70 quid from uh, Skipton Art Supplies and it was delivered next day so it's uh, I'm very pleased with the delivery of it uh, having put it up and I won't bore you with a putting together a French easel video because there are dozens of those on the web um, I'll just look at the easel itself and first impressions um, and then uh, I'll leave it at that because I, I looked online to see if I could find anything for the Kent and there was nothing there uh, I phoned up Skipton Art Shop and they were very good explaining the difference between the various models they've got there uh, but it appears to me that there's three Loxley uh, French easels or box easels um, and there, there's a couple of differences between them. One is that this is made from elm uh, which makes it slightly slightly heavier but the sizes are all more or less the same. Uh, the other one that's slightly more expensive is made from beech um, and it has the added advantage I think that uh, it actually has tinned line drawers whereas this is uh, plywood line drawers and as I'm going to be painting in acrylics that's no great problem for me the most expensive one in the line which is about uh, I think that the one with the tin line drawers is um, just over a hundred pounds and the more expensive one is bamboo and I think the, that's because it's recyclable and slightly lighter um, but having said that this should do what I want it to do um, I haven't really tried it out yet but I'll give it a go and uh, if I hit any problems I'll come back on uh, but so far it seems quite robust uh, the fittings are brass plated rather than brass um, a few places it's looking not as well finished as I would have hoped before but uh, when all said and done the main thing for me is that it uh, it does the job I intended to do and this one looks as though it will um, it'll it's freestanding so I can use it in my space in the garage uh, if I want to do that uh, it's uh, it'll hold bigger canvases or canvas boards uh, which is the advantage over the little one I've got at the moment um, and I could take it out plain air if ever I'm brave enough okay so uh, I'll leave it at that for the moment so if you're interested in uh, the Loxley Kent box easel or French easel uh, you can get back to me and I'll I'll give you my more feedback once I've used it well just a couple of things while I um, I'll think about it the uh, plenty of space in there it's nice reasonably weight easel uh, the drawers are there for all your bits and pieces one thing it, I think I will be doing um, is that underneath, uh, under here, there's uh, there's no little rubber feet, which I think is maybe something I'd like to do because uh, I might be using this on a on a table, and the rubber feet would stop it uh, slipping about. Apart from that, I think the only modifications I'm likely to make are to give it a good sand down and a coat of varnish I think if I'm going to think of using this outside just to make sure it's uh, waterproof apart from that looks okay nothing stunning but should do the job 